Hi everyone! A while ago I was watching a video on a procedural generation method called the Wave Function Collapse Algorithm. One such implementation made by CodingQuest is currently playing in the background. While watching it, I thought to myself, this would be a cool way of generating circuit diagrams. So that's what I did. I took the example algorithm from GitHub made by CodingQuest and I tinkered with it until I understood how to adapt it to my use. The generation shown currently is made using the wave function collapse algorithm. The results are mixed. In some areas, the generation actually looks pretty good, but in other areas, there's just total nonsense. This is one potential weakness of the wave function collapse algorithm. It only operates at a very local level, as only directly adjacent neighboring tile rules are considered when pruning of possible tiles. For example, here, where the inputs of the op amp are shorted together. Here's another example of just total nonsense. Uh, please don't do this with your voltage sources. And then there are places like here where this looks pretty complicated, but it's just all shorted together. Despite the shortcomings of my efforts, I still find the results at least aesthetically pleasing, if not slightly triggering, reminding me of my freshman days when I wasn't the best at schematic design. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions on how to potentially improve the algorithm to make it so there's less nonsense going on and more valid circuits being generated. Here's some more examples of the circuits generated with this algorithm. Here, I enforce boundary conditions on the edges, such that they must be blank tiles, so we get a nice self-contained circuit. Here, I change the weights of the east-south wires, so we get a lot more of those. I call this one a typical analog circuit. Here, I asked for a lot of diodes, and I definitely got what I asked for. And finally, I removed all the other electronic components and just left with wires, which also looks pretty aesthetically pleasing, if not a bit messy. So I wanted to go through my modifications really quick to uh, show how I, uh, what I did to change CodingQuest implementation to suit my needs. So first thing I had to do was draw my circuits. So I have the different wire states. I have uh, different connections and then the straight wires. And then I have different uh, electrical symbols. So I started with one tile uh, passive components, but I didn't like the way those look. So I moved on to two tiles. I have voltage source, current source, uh, NPN, PNP, and then this op amp didn't like, uh, like this op amp. So real quick, I'll just demonstrate how I would draw a diode. And let's just move this down slightly. So there's my diode, so I'll save this. Then if I go to my circuit, the diode appears. So to add this diode, first thing I'm going to need to do is uh, point to it in the tile map. So I'm going to make a tile D. And that is going to be... Uh, these uh, sprites are 16 by 16, so it's the same level as my op amp plus 16. Op amp out. It will be 96. 
64. And then I will need to give it a weight. So to test things out, I want a lot of diodes. Then I'm going to give it the rules. So the rules are pretty simple. It's just what can connect to each uh, cardinal direction of the diode. So in this case, I want there to be uh, a wire above and below, and on the left and right, I would like blank spaces. So wire above, north, and then I go east, is blank, then south, then west. And that's all you need to do to uh, create a new one by one tile. So now I should see lots of diodes appearing. Let's scale back the number of diodes to around 40. So we still get some in there, but not nearly as many. And real quick, I'll show how I have the multi-tile structures. So simply, I just have a uh, two tiles for each resistor, capacitor, and inductor. And uh, for the rules, I have that the top of this resistor is a wire, the bottom of this tile is a wire, and then in between, so the south of the first, the top tile, and the north of the bottom tile is uh, an R connection. So we have north is wire, blank, then we have this R connection, then blank, and then the north of the lower tile is the R connection. So that's how I enforce that the tiles need to be next to each other. If I had this incorrect and I did a wire here and here, we should see some half resistors appearing. So we can see uh, now instead of the two uh, kind of spikies of this, uh, four spikes total, we only have two spikes total. And I can do the same with uh, capacitors. So this would be the incorrect way of having the multi-structure, uh, multi-tile structures. Let's wait for a capacitor to appear. So we can see that uh, it takes a while to define some of the, the vertical lines, and that's because all my um, tiles are vertically orientated, or all my passive tiles at least are vertically orientated. So there are a lot of options for these tiles, meaning that they have relatively high entropy. Uh, oh, and here we have some of our incorrect half capacitors. And I do the same thing for the op amp. So I have uh, four because the op amp uh, consists of four tiles. So if I look, I have the in positive, the mid, the in negative, and the output. So the output can connect to uh, eastward facing wire, west-east uh, facing wire. The input positive and negatives on their left side, they can connect to a wire. Uh, and then these op amp uh, structures are how I enforce that the op amp generates next to each other with this one next to this, this tile next to this tile, and this tile next to that tile. That's my current status of this project. So again, let me know if you have any potential methods to improve this. Uh, I think it would be cool to have some more uh, electrical symbols such as transformers and maybe even like op amps uh, in different orientations, uh, PMPs and PNs in different orientations, uh, it could also add uh, voltage node labels and uh, 
ways of terminating the wires because right now wires need to terminate in loops uh, so I could have a uh, wire termination where it basically just uh, abruptly stops uh, but besides that not too too sure what else to add to this uh, so let me know and thank you for watching mm -hmm.